So to find an IP address, you would basically go to the Start menu, and this is going to be relatively the same in XP and Vista. Uh, in XP, there is a, a run command, R-U-N, and uh, in that run command, you would type CMD, Charlie Mango Delta, that will basically tell you, uh, or pull up a black box, which looks um, very scary. Um, but it is not going to be anything that you need to worry about because you're just going to type one command that will just show information and not change it. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. On Vista, you go to start, and then at the bottom you have a search bar. You type in CMD, just like you would in XP, and hit enter. And that will bring up this black box here. And uh, it's commonly known as a uh, DOS command prompt. Uh, DOS, it's got operating systems, very old stuff. Uh, but this is pretty much the easiest way to kind of figure things out. Um, you type in one command called ipconfig, C-O-N-F-I-G. So I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G space slash all, A-L-L. -L. That gives you all the information about uh, the type of uh, connection you have to your network. Your network undoubtedly leads to the internet, especially if you're watching this video right now. Um, this network, uh, or this command will show you um, how it gets to a particular, uh, all your information gets routed, um, where it resolves the names of the websites you go to uh, with a system called DNS, Domain Name System. So when you type in google.com, google.com is not really known to the computer world. Its IP address is 207. Dot blah 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 dot blah 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 dot blah blah blah. Um, in this case, on my computer, my IP address is 192.168.11.244. Why am I not scared that you know that? Well, it can change. Um, I can change it myself. Um, I, it, and if, if you have a IP address from your, from your um, cable provider or DSL provider, that will change probably in three days. So it's, uh, it's constantly changing because to get a static IP address costs a lot of money um, because there are only so many numbers <laughs> available at one time. IP addresses are separated in four octets, um, 192.168.11.244 or 244 is mine. So internet, excuse me, internet IP addresses are the same, um, but generally they're public IP addresses. Private IP addresses generally start with 192.168 or 172.16 or 10. Dot whatever. Dot whatever. Dot whatever. Those are private IP addresses. So if you're assigned one of those, you're on a private network. If you're assigned a public IP address, anything that's outside of that range, then you're on a public network. So if you have a 70. Dot 86. Dot whatever. Dot whatever, you're probably on Comcast's public network. You'd plug directly into the internet. In which case, I would strongly advise you to get a firewall too. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much how you would determine what an IP address is.